moment. All right, fans, Ron Nimi called it a new twist on Old Feud, and that's definitely what's going on here. It's not for the hardcore title this time. It's for the television title, but it is hardcore rules. There's your new champion, bad boy Jeff Bradley, and he's going to be going up pretty soon against the man who turned his back on IPW, reformed the chaotic cult. That's chaos. Jeff Bradley, the original Dudley Dudley, hits the ring as a TV champion and basically scares the life out of Shannon Rose, who unfortunately soiled himself while trying to get out of the ring. The disheveled one has never been quite the same. Well, Shannon Rose has soiled himself quite often in IPW rings, especially when it comes to chaos. I remember one time he and I were in the announcing booth and Shannon Rose actually locked the door so chaos couldn't come in after him. And I opened the door and said, there he is. You want to talk about old, bitter, Huge, rotten, ugly feelings and emotion running deep. Chaos and Jeff Badley, the original Dudley Dudley. This feud has raged in IPW for over four years. It don't matter who's the baby. It don't matter who's the heel. It don't matter what belt's on the line. These two just beat the hell out of each other every time they get in the same building together. Now you see already outside the ring. You don't see that quite as much here in IPW with our new setup. But when you have these two guys in the ring, you're not going to keep this hatred inside the ring. You're not going to keep them bottled up. It's not going to happen. I tell you, Ron. You can read about all the feuds, about all the bloody wars, just like Chaos cutting him up with that sickle there. You can read about all the history on Shannon Rose's website. That's ProWrestlingDaily.com. ProWrestlingDaily, all one word, dot com. And, of course, you can hear myself, Shannon Rose, and Barry Horowitz every Wednesday and Saturday, Wednesday from 7 to 8, Saturday from 1 to 3 on 1040 AM. That's Pro Wrestling Weekly. Check it out each and every week. Since I'm on there, it's a pretty good show. January 26th at the WrestlePlex, hostile takeover. Dudley Dudley is booked to defend his IPW television title. Chaos is booked to be in the building. No, we don't want him there. But you know something? Chaos is the type of guy that's turned on us and joined NWA Florida. He then turned on us and joined NWA Wildside. What the hell is to keep this guy from aligning himself with Mr. Peskin, the so-called owner of IPW Hardcore? Well, I tell you, last time Mr. Peskin was around, he tried the same exact thing. He went after Chaos. He tried pulling at the heartstrings, at the emotions of Chaos after an injury, saying that Ron Nemi was nowhere to be found to help him out. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if Mr. Peskin were to go to either one of these guys and try giving him a side story, but I've got a feeling that they've seen or heard his act before, but with a guy like Mr. Peskin in his pocketbook, you never know who might join a stable. I thought Jeff Bradley was vicious and stiff before. Then he went to Puerto Rico for over a year, and his comeback basically resembling a hybrid version, a cross between Dutch Mantel and Bruiser Brody. Hey, 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 I, I asked Jeff Bradley if you heard me call him Dutch Mantel, and he said, yeah, don't do that, so I'm just giving you fair warning. Bobby Jaggers didn't like it one bit either. Or Rod Price, for that matter. And when I talked to Jeff Bradley, oh. I was talking about Hostile Takeover on the 26th, and I said, Jeff, you remember that time that Hillbilly Jim had the boots given to him by Hulk Hogan? And he looked at me and he said, yeah, Ron, I remember that. I said, well, it's got nothing to do with that, Jeff. Okay, Ron. Insightful commentary as always. What will we do without you here on IPW Weekly Recap? And speaking of one bad boy, Bradley, people might be saying, who do I root for in this match? Chaos turned an IPW. Uh, Devin Nash was screwed over by bad boy Bradley, but the reality of the situation was he wasn't screwed over by bad boy Bradley. He was screwed over, we now know, by Mr. Peskin and Rod Steele. Bad boy Bradley, yeah, he's going to go after a fan favorite like Devin Nash and beat the hell out of him, but if you notice, he also clotheslined Rod Steele right out of his boots during that same match when it happened. This guy doesn't care if you cheer him. This guy doesn't care if you boo him. As long as you give him somebody to get in the ring with that he can try to bloody up, you've got a very, very happy bad boy. Bad boy Jeff Bradley has been busted wide open by chaos and now drives his head into the mat with a huge bulldog. Jeff Bradley trained by the great Malenko and Hiro Matsuda, two of the best wrestlers to ever come out of Japan and the Southeast. And believe it or not, Malenko was the one from Japan and Matsuda was the one from the Southeast. Really? No. Okay, I was going to say, that doesn't sound right to me, Ron Nemi. Believe it or not, both these guys, they may not show it, but they are classically trained wrestlers. I think it'd be kind of interesting, Ron Nemi, if all of a sudden, maybe one day you made these guys do a scientific match just to prove to everybody they could do it. I don't like that idea one bit. I know you don't, Ron Nemi, because you're all about mayhem, you're all about carnage, and you're all about seeing other people besides yourself bleed. Jeff Bradley just levels Chaos with the IPW television title. He busts his head wide open, and Chaos, he doesn't care. He likes the taste of his own blood. He likes the violence. He likes the metal crashing onto his skull. This guy can't remember what happened three minutes ago, but the truth is, he feels no pain, and he knows no loyalties. He's a very dangerous person. I 
that uh, unfortunately his memory has faded ever since he started hanging around with that small funny guy star stevens but fans i want to remind you one more time call 727-526-6778 that's the florida wrestleplex get your tickets for our upcoming shows or just find out what it takes for you to become a professional wrestler train the right way at the, the head by chairs and belts you'd have a hard time remembering things too chaos can't even remember my huge three win match streak that i beat you up. never beat Naftali. And trust me, Ron, I may not go at it like these guys do, but I know what it's like to get hit in the head and lose my memory thanks to my certain broadcast partner. Yeah, like the time at the Saliva concert in Nickelback where you're making a madman out of yourself, sniffing other women's hair, stumbling around, and getting IPW chants going from the crowd of 8,000 people. That was Jet Jaguar. That wasn't me. I was hanging out over at Frankie's place over on Old Memorial in Tampa. The other All right, Ron, Ron, Ron you, there we go. That's it. He defended his title. He's still your IPW TV champion. Bad boy Jeff Bradley. Fans, we'll be back next week.